my name's Scott and welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything. I'm excited tonight because I'm going to be traveling on the Caledonian Sleeper, something which I've wanted to do for years. It's a real bucket list journey, this one, but I'm not crossing it off my bucket list because tonight I'm traveling in a seat and not in one of those comfy sleeping cabins. I've read online that the seats are actually quite uncomfortable. Tonight I'm going to find out exactly how uncomfortable they are. But before we go in, I'm going to mention the price. You can go by bus, overnight bus, with Megabus or Flixbus. It'll cost you just under £13. Do you know how much the ticket is for a seat from Glasgow to London on the Caledonian Sleeper? You may want to sit down for this. £70 one way. That's more than five times the price of a bus. So based on my calculations, this should be five times as comfortable. I doubt it. The train usually leaves Glasgow at around about 23.45, but tonight it's leaving at 21.45 because of some track works somewhere between Watford Junction and Preston, which means we will not be making stops at Motherwell, Carstairs, Carlisle and Watford Junction, but we're still due to arrive into London Euston at the normal time of 07.09. Whenever I travel on a train like this, I always like to go up and check there's a locomotive attached. How embarrassing would that be if they forgot to attach one? Let's see what we've got tonight. Okay, I can confirm we've got a locomotive, which is a good thing. You know, I've made no secret of the fact that I love this train and I've so wanted to travel on it for so many years. In fact, over the years, there's been little sneaky shots of the Caledonian sleeper in the background of many of my videos. Here's a few examples. Earlier this year, the Caledonian sleeper released a series of mini posters online. And here are the ones which I've collected. I think I've got the full set. They're absolutely stunning. I actually contacted Caledonian Sleeper to see if it was possible to get uh, poster-sized prints of these. They have had a lot of demand, but at this point, it was only an online promotion. Here's a couple of interesting factoids about the Caledonian Sleeper. It's not one, but two separate trains. One runs from Euston up to the Highlands of Scotland, and it's called the Highlander. And the other one operates from London Euston to the Lowlands, and that's called the Lowlander. But this is the bit I like. See the stag there? There's three points on that side and two on that side. And the reason for that is because they represent the points in Scotland and the Highlands. Fort William, Inverness, Aberdeen, and they are, these are in the Lowlands, Glasgow and Edinburgh. The destination there says Carlisle and uh, Watford Junction, but we're apparently not stopping there tonight. Right, let's get on board.
Just left Newcastle and we're not sleeping. So I'm just going for a little walk. Some YouTubers do toilet tours. I'm not one of them. But just have to use your imagination. nothing like a good night's sleep and that was nothing like a good night's sleep wow that was tough work we should be at Euston station in about 40 minutes Man. Houston. That was a pretty uncomfortable night. The last hour and a half has been spent just negotiating different tracks around London. Because of the track maintenance work on the West Coast main, main line, we went down the East Coast. And this uh, line usually ends at King's Cross. The Caledonian sleeper finishes at Euston, so we had to do a bit of backwards and forwards around the suburbs of London to get here. An hour and a half or two is just to negotiate the suburbs of London. And even then we arrived something like 25 minutes early. Would I do that again? Not at all, no. I think the seats were totally inappropriate for an over, overnight train journey. The seats should at least have some sort of headrest. It's an overnight train after all. And where I was sitting, 11A, let's wait until it's finished. That's more like it. Yeah, being an overnight train, they should have at least had some headrests on the seats. Nope, didn't have that. And where I was sitting, seat 11A, it was like the, the bulkhead on an aircraft. Absolutely no leg room whatsoever. No, not, not, a, good, uh, not a good night's sleep, that one. Um, I've travelled on Megabus and I've travelled on Flixbus between Glasgow and London, and I would go on the bus before I would use Caledonian sleeper seats again. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure on the Caledonian Sleeper. I bet you enjoyed it more than I did. I'll see you next time.